land. It's closed. Head south on Main 187 toward Brickyard oh, Road. What a bummer. No, thanks. What's going on? I guess we can go around. He's coming in the other direction. Whoa. Whoa, somebody, somebody fell off their bike. Wow. Wow. In 1,000 feet, you will arrive at your destination. purpose for your trip? Uh, pleasure. Okay. Staying in the country how long total? Uh, three weeks. And what's in the vehicle other than your own personal clothing? Well, food. No eggs. No fruits or vegetables. Good. What else? No meat. <laughs> Any gifts or goods for anyone in Canada? No. Either of you traveling with firearms or weapons? No. Mace, pepper spray, or tasers? No. Any beer, wine, spirits, or tobacco products? No, nope, none. Perfect. You're all set and you're right. Camera's good. Thank you. Thank you. The Treaty of Paris may have ended the U.S. Revolutionary War, but the boundary between Maine and British North America was the result of a skirmish in 1838-39. It was called the Aroostook War, or sometimes the Pork and Beans War. One bear died, but no lumberjacks. You can look it up. But now, after three years of arrested anticipation, we were just glad our cousins in the North were welcoming back their crazy cousins in the South. We are excited for the adventures ahead. We went from two-lane roads, very bumpy and potholy and all that sort of thing, to a beautiful four lane, basically freeway, all the way to St. John, where we're gonna get off. And our friend told us there's a shopping center that has great Wi Fi, and also we can learn all about SIM card stuff there because the guy was very knowledgeable. So we're gonna see if we can find it called McAllister Place. Okay, success! We got us, we went to the McAllister Mall to the store called The Source. Really nice guys in there, very helpful. And we got 20 gigabytes. Now the problem, if you don't have a Canadian bank account and a Canadian driver's license, then you can't get their typical monthly data plans. So you have to buy, you have to get a prepaid card and the prepaid cards are only 3G. So that's part of the problem. So it's a lot slower but uh, we went ahead and got the 20 gigs and with taxes, it was 80, 80 Canadian dollars uh, for 20 gigabytes and that lasts for one month. We were excited to meet up with our friends, Lori and David from Texas. Lori is a dual citizen and had been sending me travel tips since Maine as they were just a few weeks ahead of us. We had arranged to meet up at Fundy National Park and then later at Prince Edward Island. Okay, who's such a cool guy? Oh, we finally made it! How awesome is this? Look at that spooky forest behind us. Get up, take our chairs over there. where I had to dump it back in the pan because I forgot the eggs. Oh. Time to buy our first Canadian diesel. It's 230 a liter, so that's about, to see, two, four, six, eight, about $9 per gallon, but that's Canadian dollars, so it's probably around $7 U.S.? A number of you guys have told me how, how friendly everybody is up here, and you are so right. I just had a great conversation with the man who saw our California license plate, and uh, he was in a, he, he, 
we must have talked for 20 minutes. He actually said he worked on the bridge that goes over to Prince Edward Island. I think it's called Prospect Bridge or something. He said he worked on that. And uh, anyway, we're just down here to do laundry in Alma. Okay, you guys, stop moosing around. The Bay of Fundy lies between two Canadian provinces, Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. It's known for having the highest tides on Earth, as much as 56 feet. Where are we? We are at the famous Coco Rock. And what are we going to see here? We're going to see the low tide and the carved rocks. Carved rocks. Okay. Okay, and that's right out of a Canadian's mouth. would thin like this. I don't know, become a lobster for us. Become a lobster. <laughs> yeah, baby. We're gonna go exploring. Uh, so this is the, the, the loop then? Yeah, yes. so okay. you start and that's with the lake Bruce with Horn. the good. Do you, okay. do you suggest uh, going yes. counterclockwise? Yes. Okay. Yes, because this part Counter. is very, very rugged. Rugged. Uh, okay. okay. A lot of rocks. We got the kitties in the back. What's the matter, guys? Don't you like it back there? Little bumpy. <laughs> oh, we think this is it. It says the Great Trail. We didn't get here the right way, but was that DC? But the road was pretty good that we took. We're gonna go all the way here, and then we're gonna do the Laverty Falls yep. loop, and then come back around. Oh, that's okay. Yep. Someone got their foot wet. Water resistant. We have to get across there. Skeeters are bad here. Alrighty. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. <laughs> There's the mighty influencer taking off her shoes and socks. To a getting yeah. ready to trudge <laughs> across. No Let's see what happens. I sense she's going to wait, head wait, to wait, her wait, left. Wait, David noticed that she's left behind her tripod. Oh my goodness. Oh man, ouch, that hurts so much. <laughs> oh. Yay! I'll tell you something when you get back here. 
Yeah, but I walk like Herman Munster, so that's problematic. Oh, man. Our first waterfall. Yep. Oh, oh. Yep, that's it. That's, there you go. Yeah, get to the island. Or the rapids. Yep. Yay. Oh. Good job. I think it was five and a half miles. <laughs> the sun is out. Oh my gosh. Wow. The sun. Mmm. Boy, that feels good. says that that is probably a puck because when it freezes over they'll play hockey out here a, a puck and a stump hey green and everything we can show videos <laughs> do you guys know any fancy dance no, John doesn't. <laughs> okay, Kyra. I've never seen a stream go through moss like that. This place is absolutely magical. I think that was the most magical waterfall I've ever seen in my life. Once again, we barely scratch the surface of all there is to see and do in the Bay of Fundy, 
including fresh lobster, cape and rage, and abundant hiking and biking trails. We'll just have to plan to return. And this is one of the most beautiful golf courses I've ever seen. The last two days in Fundy were beautiful and sunny, and now we're heading off on a rainy day to St. John for the rally.